Good day. Welcome to King Wars Everything. Remember back in the day in the early 80s, if you had one of these bad boys, you were the bomb. These were kind of pricey. Little Palm Pilots. I know a couple people at work actually have supported these things, but I had a Palm 5, not a 5X. Uh, this is a tungsten, but these were the bomb. This is how you, you if you wanted to um, have all your little contacts and stuff like that, you put them on this little PDA, you sync it up to your uh, your computer and your Outlook and sync all your contacts up to it. And this is how we live by. Everything was on here. Yet nothing was on business cards. You put everything on here. So without this, he was screwed. But uh, they're kind of fun. There are some little games for it. Not much. This was morally, mostly a um, a business type uh, PDA, not like the Windows uh, uh, Windows CE devices and stuff like that. But this was actually more for contacts. So it wasn't very super graphic. The lighter ones, they, they, they became color and stuff like that. But this one is very special. I didn't even know this existed. This is the Tandy Z PDA. I think it's also called a Zoomer. It says Zoomer down here. And this is basically, see, so it's got Geos operating system, basically a DOS PC. So you can do pretty much everything you wanted on this guy and have a PDA. But look at all these little items it's got down here. And compared to like a, a PDA, the, this P, the Palm Pilot fits right into the screen. So how big is this? This is awesome. I don't even know how much this thing costs. I've never even, even seen this before until the, uh, the estate sale. And I paid four bucks for this. And there were, I think there were batteries in it. It didn't turn on because, you know, the batteries were like a thousand years old. But they had not leaked. So what we're going to do today, we're going to replace the batteries. I already got the back off uh, and see what see what it does. I'll kind of show you some features. Got the normal uh, infrared port. Uh, on this side, you have the contrast on off volume. The bottom, you have the headphone. The stylus is missing. I got some styluses from the PDAs. Uh, and also on the this side, you have, uh, oh, look at this. Little PC card slot. How cool is that? Never would have thought they would PC card slot here. Uh, AC adapter, and then a um, uh, RS two three two C port. So I guess you could do some printing if you have the cable. And it's kind of like a weird small one. I'm not sure what format that is, but a small one. So sort of like a little serial port, and of course like a little D pad, A and B buttons, and then also this button, which I'm not sure. I think maybe that locks the screen open or something like that. I'm not sure. I haven't got that far. So what I did so far. So I did take the covers off. Uh, so we're going to put some new batteries in. I have two new, well, new-ish. I didn't have any brand new ones. I have one that's new and one that's slightly used. So we're going to replace those first because these are to save your data. If you, uh, I guess, when you replace the batteries. And I've got some batteries. What do I do with the batteries? I lost the batteries. Oh, here they are. Of course, I have the finest Harbor Freight batteries, but that'll do. And we'll put these in, and then we'll put that one in. And we're going to turn this on and see if it works. I might leave the back off for now. But basically, this guy goes here, and this guy goes covers that one up, keeps your badge from falling out. So I'll put that aside. So let's turn it on. Did I get it? Okay, got the batteries in there. Looks like they're in right, they're in proper. And let's turn it on again. Oh, come on, baby. I know you want to work. Or do we need that piece in there? You know what? I think you need the back on. Be sure to read the owner's manual. Never move the main batteries and backup batteries at the same time. Oh, that's what I did. So basically what you got to do is you got to slide this piece in here. And then slide it. This goes like that. There you go. It must be like a very small, maybe that's a little micro switch. Now let's try this guy. Anybody? Anybody? Looks like it's in there correctly. You know, these are new batteries. Let's try it again. Oh man, come on, baby. Let me let me take a little closer look at this. There's two screws, so oh, wait a second. You will need this. You do need this piece on there. Let's put that piece, put a little back panel on there. I'm trying to be gentle. I don't want to ruin any stickers or anything. Because I got a couple collectors that wanna wanna buy this. I'm not really a big Tandy fan. 
or a Tandy collector. I don't have any Tandy. I just have a TR TRS-80 uh, that I've gotten out of the trash. Let's see, is this in there, right? Okay. I don't think I have an in all the way. It seems like there should be more to it. So that slides him out. Yeah, this has to go in farther. Don't quite see. There it is. Okay, we got it in. Now let's try it. Oh, we got power. Oh, she's booting up. It does say, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Initialized storage, not initialized. Press A or yes, B for now. Yes. All documents stored will be lost if you answer yes. I did say yes. Didn't I say yes? All right, so I did get past some of the menus. I'm at the part where you can, congratulations, I uh, completed the configuration. The problem is the screen calibration, you know, I calibrated these points. These points here, I had to click down here to get it to work. And of course, now that this is down here to get these buttons, they're probably down here. So I suspect that uh, the screen's fine. The touch screen part, which is probably just this overlay part, is a little messed up. Uh, could be maybe the, where it's connected in with the ribbon cable needs to be reseated because it's kind of weird that it's this part works just this last little eighth of it is where it's not really um or actually just this little small small section here is not uh, uh accepting the touches so that's kind of kind of kind of strange but it does does definitely work um i wish i could get a little farther because this looks like it'd be a lot of fun to play with and pull this bad boy out in front of all your uh, computer friends and say, look what I got. And I think they'd be really amazed at uh, seeing something something this weird and, and kind of a rarity actually working. And like I said, it does work. It's just not fully... I'm going to maybe play with the touchscreen. You know, and I'm literally about tearing it apart because, you know, uh, once you start taking things like this apart, you know, you snap a piece, you break a piece. It's not like you got a spare one laying around. So I think I'm gonna what I'm going to do and leave it like this. Uh, I got a couple of people that collect Tandy stuff, and I'm going to say, hey, you know, it does work. It might need a little work, but if you want it for your collection, uh, I probably will sell it because uh, I don't have a lot of Tandy stuff. You know, I just, it's not uh, really my thing. I'm more into video games, but this is kind of an interesting little toy uh, just for the fact that it's kind of kind of a rarity, you know, to see something like this, especially the PDAs. You see a lot of the old, you know, people, these are all pitched out, but this one does does definitely not deserve to go in the trash. This is a really neat uh, piece of uh, Tandy history. So I anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. That's you guys. Have a great day.